Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Karen Lavender Clothesline here on YouTube, also on eBay and on Instagram. I'm going to start this video by thanking everybody that is on the front lines, all of the people working in grocery stores, hospitals, medical facilities, first responders, people that are working in security. Thank you so much for being on the front lines and keeping us safe during this time and just sacrificing your own personal safety. So I hope everybody is doing well. I hope your families are safe and I hope you are not running out of toilet paper or bored out of your minds. But this video is about what I've been up to and I'm gonna show you the first item. Now this is an item that I made years ago and I used to sell these at craft fairs. This is way before eBay. And I was vacationing in Vermont with my family and we went to a fair, an outdoor fair. And there was a gentleman selling, I call them fantasy head wreaths. And I saw his booth from far away and the wind was blowing a little bit. And all of these beautiful colored ribbons were blowing in the wind. And I said, what is that? What am I looking at? And the kids and I went over. And this is what, sort of like what we saw. It was a head wreath made out of the star garland. It's very shiny and metallic. And then there was a big ribbon, multicolored ribbon tail. So I don't know what that gentleman called it. I don't even know if I bought them that day. I just looked at those and said, I'm gonna make those. And I went on to make thousands of them and they sold out every fair that I did in my area. I wasn't by the gentleman. We were vacationing in Vermont. We were on Long Island. So this is one of the things I've been up to. This is worn on your head like this. Very fun, lots of colored ribbons. So I'm starting to make these. I've just listed them in my eBay store today and I'm going to be making hundreds if not thousands of them. Now let me just say, this is not a high profit ticket item, but I feel like with all of the people not being able to celebrate regular birthday parties, anything that can be produced that would help them feel special, little princess girls or even women, would be a good thing. So. You see if I can put this on straight. So this is what this looks like. Um, only takes a couple of minutes to make, but in order to make profit on these, you have to make hundreds, if not thousands. The profit's not like the normal item that, you know, the craziness I pick up where I buy in at two and sell for a hundred. That's not happening with these. But I thought this is something that I could do to encourage people or give somebody a little joy in their day. So as you can tell, this is my prototype because I'm touching it, but um, the other ones will be sealed in plastic. So fantasy head wreaths is what I'm up to besides all my normal listing. And that's, that's item number one that I wanted to share with you today. Oh, I might as well pull this rack and show you. So this is the setup for making the wreaths. As you can see, I work on the headpiece part, the crown part, or the tiara part. And then I attach, I have a little system of attaching multiple, multiple ribbons. And like I said, I've sold these by, it's gotta be the thousands. So that was a great idea for my business, kind of like something fun to mix it up. It gives me inventory to be able to make listings. And yeah, so that's what's going on here. I also wanted to talk about other items that you can find around your house or you might have that people sell on eBay. Now, none of these are a high profit. You're not gonna make hundreds of dollars with these things, but I think it's a great idea to be able to pivot, include other things in your store when your inventory sourcing is down. So here I'm gonna list a few things that I find quite common for sellers to sell, and you can see if you have access to any of these things. So number one on my list are the ramen soup noodle packets. Ramen noodle soup packets, is that how we say that? You know when you buy ramen noodle soup and they have the little foil packets? Some people use those packets, some people don't. I actually keep that soup in the house, but I don't use my packets because there's MSG in them. But people buy those packets. So I save my packets and I'm planning on selling mine. Number two are empty rolls from toilet paper, paper towels. Yep, not a high profit dollar item, but people buy those. People also buy seashells, which right now we can't go to the beach. 
If you have evergreen trees that are dropping pine cones, a lot of times beautiful pine cones will sell. Now they're not the scrub pine pine cones usually. Usually they're the bigger ones, um, the tiny little ones sell. And also the next item that I'm gonna insert a screenshot I have started selling and these are sweet gumball tree seeds or pods. They are the round prickly balls and people buy those for crafts. So I have been able to source thousands of these and I'm going to be adding those to my store. And what else? What else do people sell? All kinds of craziness. So where there's a will, there's a way. just going to share a few of the items that have been selling in my store. I don't know that any of these are really essential, but I'm really happy for these sales. This first pair of shoes is Fly London, one of my favorite brands to sell, $44.20, and they were pre-owned. The next item I talk about quite a bit, they are curtain rings or drapery rings. Here are two packages, one was opened and resealed, so I believe it was missing a ring, but it was 10 in all and brought $17.47 and I only paid a couple of dollars. Next up is Soma. I love finding Soma. It does very well in my store. Here is a set of pre-owned Christmas pajamas and yep, we're in April and these just sold $38.02. Now when you see a funny ending to my price, that usually means that I have run a percentage off sale in my store. I run a new sale probably about every 48 hours. This is a brand that I choose to buy when they're in great condition. This is Spago, I think that's how we say it, 2762. Next up is part of the dishes that I recently showed in a video where I talked about dishes. This first dish brought 1722 and the same buyer bought a couple of pieces. Here, $15.92 for this bowl. I believe this bowl had a crackle in the glaze and that's it would have brought higher if it, if it hadn't had the crackle. And the last piece, beautiful. This was a cake plate, nice and big, 12 inches across, $48.42. This next item, again, I talk about this brand a lot, Sass. If you find Sass Tripad Comfort, those shoes do quite well if they're in great condition. $26.98. This tray took a while to sell, but I'm really glad I held on to this for a while for the price, $55. This was not only handmade, but it was signed on the back by the artist. Next up is a brand that I judge by each piece. This is CJ Banks. I don't pick up every piece of CJ Banks. I really try to judge what keywords I'm gonna use. And this was Romantic Cottage Chic, $25. Here is a set of two brass sconces, $31.88. They were vintage. Next up is a Santa Claus. I did send offers out on this Santa Claus. I didn't want to hold on to him to the following year, $22, and he was 18 inches high. Really nicely done. Next up, you guys might remember this. I've held on to this for a while and it was time to let it go. $35 for Toxic Crusaders Vintage Lunchbox. I found this at the bins and paid less than a dollar for it. Next up is a bank. This is the Foundry Sperry uh, New Holland Cast Iron Bell and $25 it brought. Here again is a brand that I don't pick up unless I warrant that it has a lot going for it. This is Elevate and this is a Miller Lite Beer logo jacket. It's new and it brought $30. This pair of men's sneakers had three things going for them, so I put them right in my cart. First of all, it's Nike. Second, they are a golf sneaker or a golf shoe that did have the uh, spikes on the bottom. And lastly, this is a Tiger Woods collaboration with Nike. $41.65 and they're pre-owned. 
Next up, this took a while to sell. This is a vintage uh, needlepoint with a clown on it. It has a little chain on top, and I believe it was meant to hang from a doorknob. I guess you could also put it up on the wall. $17.64. I would pick it up again, but not high profit. Next up is a cutting board. I loved this. It was beautifully done. New in box. Now, as you can see, the box was damaged a little bit on top by the mermaid's head. $32.04. But of course, I wouldn't keep it because you guys know me. I'm all about the money. So those are just a few of the things that have been selling in my store. March finished quite strong, so I was really grateful for that. And I am listing as often as I can, as usual. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it was a little bit mishmashy. And as always, go out and get what's yours.